Hi everybody, it's Tink with Tink Moments, and today we're going to... Sorry to interrupt your regularly scheduled program, but there is something that is going on on the freeway right now that I want to take you to and show you what's happening. off of I-10 between San Antonio and Houston. This bus, we were behind it a while back and it was smoking a bit and it got past us, pulled over, and we thought, okay, well something's wrong with the, the tires, maybe the engine or something, and not before long, it was speeding past us again, and here we've cut up to it a half an hour later, and the, bus, or the thing is fully engulfed in flames. By the way, everybody, hi, this is Tink Moments. Um, we're on our first trip, um, the shakedown trip with the RV. I was gonna do a video later today about um, the campground we're staying at. It's gonna be um, really interesting. They've got a few handicapped spots to park in. So we're gonna give you a look at what those are. But right now, I thought this was just amazing, something to, to share with what's going on on the, the freeway. Most cars are getting far over in the fast lane to get around. And you do have some people stopping. I you know, saw a semi go through that cloud of smoke a bit ago. And we have no earthly idea what's burning. I would not do that. So we're going to be sitting here until they can get this under control. I'm just going to shoot the video for a while and let you guys watch. Near the ambulance or fire truck or something. That's really gonna help. <laughs> what? There's a sheriff? Yeah. I mean, that's, Sorry, oh, I didn't turn the There's the fire truck right there. They're coming down the. I see him right now. They must have come down the other access or something. I can't tell if I've got this going or not, folks, but the fire truck is right in the middle. Uh, no, it's gone. I can't see it now because all these cars but, and the smoke. But up there, there's a fire truck that came straight up the other side in the second lane.
That person gets stuck. Okay, folks, th this is ridiculous. It's just an update here. I stopped filming because it was becoming a long, arduous thing. I don't know if you just saw that car come down the hill. It went from behind us, wove in and out of all the cars in front of us, and then tried to head up the hill. It just thinks that it's going to go someplace that the rest of us aren't. See, now he's backing up. Check out this idiot. <laughs> I know language, I'm sorry. Do you have the camera plugged in? Because this person is not paying attention. Get ready to honk, because they are not. They're going to hit us, Chuck. Talk about impatient. There are people up here that the lives are at risk and what is important to that car is getting to their destination. Okay. When we get closer to moving or we can see more, I will come off of pause again and update you a little bit more. The fire engines that were on the opposite side of the fire have moved out of the way. Uh, it looks like they're letting us start moving. I am freaky, it's getting really loud. I apologize about that. Um, then you can see no more smoke, the fire's out. And I'm hoping to be able to give you a shot of what the burned out shell looks like. Yeah, you see kind of around this white truck starting to get a good view you let the white truck in go ahead and let the white truck in there it is folks all volunteer firefighters out there that kept us safe, the sheriffs that kept us safe here on the road. All of our fire trucks, I can't, I'm not getting them in very well. That tow truck's not going to do very much. And all the people, luckily they were able to get their stuff out. That's, that's great. And I know I'm not looking great for closing. It was a trouble day and a headache day, but I just want to let everybody know this is a good reminder. Um, be safe on the road. If you see or notice anything wrong with your vehicle or another vehicle, pull over or try to help them pull over. They, keeping that vehicle safe also keeps the rest of us safe out here on the road. And I'm sorry about the bumps. I'm sorry about the whole kind of unprofessional videoing, but I just wanted to catch that and let you see what was going on on our trip. I will catch up with you a little bit later today, but hope to see you out there. Bye guys. Hey guys, I was editing this, editing this all together to get it ready to send out and I realized I forgot to close out the video. Yep, Freaky still sounds upset, doesn't he? So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and find that subscribe button wherever I placed it. I'd love to have you follow along. Bye.